Pros note. The professional video training for softwares. Acrobiz. Check Pulse. Acrohost. For more videos, visit our website. www.sprosnote.com International Purchase Normally the purchase two type of purchase. One is local purchase, another one is international purchase. The local purchase you are purchasing from your own country or, for, or from your nearest place. Uh, the purchase normally from your own currency, your home currency. What is your currency? The same currency. And there is no additional expense because the delivery charge, normally your supplier will deliver for the items. You don't have any other expense. There directly you will get item, just item cost. International purchase totally different. For example, you are purchasing from outside country, other country. So they will provide their own home currency. Their currency may be uh, dollar, euro or any another currency. And it's automatically need to convert as per your home currency by the system will convert. If you give the value, system will convert automatically. And the other things, whenever you are making the international purchase, lots of additional expenses, for example, cargo clearance, customs and labor charges like that lots of additional expense to get your item so you want to this additional expense also you want to add for the each item costing so it's called landing cost your uh, inventory your item cost will be increased as per the additional expenses so these all things you need to cover on the international purchase let's see for the example for example i'm going to enter this purchase this uh, order from United States. So these are the item I purchased from the US and this is my supplier from US and this is the currency value. This for the this amount I paid for 3802 3, I paid for my supplier. But I have additional lots of expenses. These are the expenses, customs duty, transportation. This this paid from my bank account, this paid from cash account, this credit, this you know the shipping charge I didn't pay my BH logistics, my payable. I didn't pay until now. Later on, uh, after the month, maybe they will give all invoice together. I'll pay this amount. Another everything I pay also. So this is the currency value. I'll show first how to make this purchase entry. You go to Acrobis. You can click it here, transaction and purchase. Open the purchase voucher. And your supplier, this is Sigma. This is my supplier and presently i don't want to enter the item wise tax calculation just I, without tax because directly the total amount tax i paid for the customs clearance type so just i click here without tax and i want to add these items sorry before that i want to set my currency which currency i'm going to purchase this currency value i'm just copying here because when i make this transaction this is the value okay and here you know currency conversion i need to enable the currency conversion before enabling you know actually this is the last column total included tax but if you enable the currency conversion you will get additional few columns also here for example your uh, what is the rate currency rate everything will be here if you disable it it will be disappear so i'm going to enable the currency conversion and which currency i'm going to enter for example us dollar and one US dollar equal to dinars. What is it? this? Is the present value? I just paste it here. Well, when I make the transaction, what is the currency value? I just paste paste it here. Now I want to enter my items one by uh, one by one items. I need to enter it here. For example, for Samsung TV, ten pieces I purchase. Okay, and one forty six dollar. That is the amount. Samsung TV. I purchase 10 pieces, 10 units. I purchase. My rate is 146. Okay, 146 dollar. So directly I'm going to enter here 146. So automatically it will be convert in after entering automatically it will be convert in my home currency. Here will be the details also. You know. Uh, 548.960 in the US dollar this is the value this is the rate this is the total price everything as per well. converted details also will be automatically appear there so now I need to enter my second item 
ഫോർ സാംസങ് എയർ കണ്ടീഷണർ ടു ടെൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഹൗ മെനി യൂണിറ്റ്സ് ലൈക്ക് ഫോർ ഫോർ യൂണിറ്റ്സ് ഐ നീഡ് ടു പർച്ചേസ് ആൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ പ്രൈസ് ഹിയർ വിൽ ബി ത്രീ നയൻറ്റി എയ്റ്റ് സോ ടോട്ടൽ പ്രൈസ് ഓൾസോ ഐ ക്യാൻ എൻ്റർ വൺ ഫൈവ് നയൻ ടു ഈസ് ദ ടോട്ടൽ ഡോളർ വൺ ഫൈവ് വൺ ഫൈവ് നയൻ ടു I am going to click here, total included tax here, 1592. So it will be, uh, reverse calculation also will be possible and you can check what is the 398 will be here on the US dollar. And now I am going to add another item also, this is my third item, power plug, 150 pieces, $5 per piece. Power plug. power plug and 150 units i purchase and per units 5 dollar only so whenever i enter the 5 dollar you know it's converting as per the rate in my home currency okay so this much amount in bd in bahraini dinar i paid for my supplier now i have additional expenses for the in this business i have additional expenses So these are the additional expenses customs duty transportation like that So before adding additional expenses if you required you can disable the currency conversion because currency con conversion calculation everything will be finished later on if you want to see you can enable or disable that is depend on you So now I am going to disable this one because I want more column to see here Now I am adding for my additional expenses these are the additional expenses customs duty I pay from my bank account 228. So this is extra accounts. Please click here extra accounts. And from my bank account, which bank account I am going to pay in my national bank account customs duty. How much the amount? The amount will be 228. Add it to list. And the second one uh, I have expense transportation. I pay my cash 100. So transportation I pay from my cash I select here cash transportation 100. And uh, I have labor charge I pay from my cash 50. I pay from my cash labor charge 50. and i have shipping charge shipping charge actually you know i didn't pay the six uh, shipping charge but this company provide for me as a credit i didn't pay that one bh logistic shipping charge so on the credit side i want to search bh Lo logistics but presently it's not appearing here because only cash and bank ledgers will be here but i can click here show all ledgers so every ledgers will be display here and bh logistic and shipping charge shipping charge will be 800 at least and another things duty and taxes i paid from my cash 142 from the customs before getting the item i paid the import importing tax also so 142 so here from my cash duty and taxes how much i paid 142 142 and add to list so this everything uh, i settle here i enter here all will be listed and some condition now i want to calculate my landing cost what is the exact landing cost for the each item for example uh, you know some condition you know duty and taxes normally i don't want to add item wise costing because you know this much amount i will return back when i claim my tax this amount will return back to me so i don't want to add like a additional expenses actually this is not an expense it means uh, government will return back for me so i'm just untick this one so which one you want to calculate tick that one which one you don't want to calculate just untick it and click it add if you click it add here you will see additional one column here just i'm going to click add here So you know there is one additional column the name is landing cost 
you know this uh, samsung tv there is 54 i'll show before that the total also just i click ex extra accounts again you know total additional expenses for 11780 this all total will be 11780 for the calculating value this 142 i don't want to calculate so this 1178 it will be added for all item as per the ratio the big amount item will be added uh, big landing cost small amount will be added as a small small value as per the ratio it will add automatically so i'll click it here you can see the landing cost here you know here the item price will be 54.896 this is the we pay for the supplier but when item received as per the landing cost will be 100.132 it will be increased and this will be four pieces 149 so here will be 272 right will be here 1.880 so here will be three little only increase because you know this note it will not take equally it will take as per the rate what is the rate as per the rate it will take the value for the landing cost now we can save this entry i am going to click save if you pay for the cash you can set cash or credit bank whatever your mode of payment you can select it and save the entry Pros note: The professional video training for softwares. Acrobiz. Check Pulse. Acro host. For more videos, visit our website www.sprosnote.com.